Islam, definitely. Uh, Peace, right. love, Islam. Shalom. Islam. This is the elder. I came out here, not to just visit him, but I was working too. And um, I'm about to head out of the town on the airport. So, you know, we was just giving a shout out to all the mighty Moors out here, keeping up our, our legacy and keeping up our history and keeping it authentic. Islam, how's it going with the people out there in the Muslim world and the regular world? This is King Abdul Mumin Il out here rocking it with my, my nephew. You know, we got to kick it. And, and every time we get together, you know, like I tell you, the world is in trouble, but in good trouble. And uh, we always break it down to a quick snippet about what we're doing and, and how we got to get to where we got to go in order to take care of our future. That's what it's all about, our future generations. Everything's been stolen from us. And, you know, my job is to put the Moroccan flag back with the Star Spangled Banner on top of the White House. <laughs> what you talking about, Willie? And I'm working towards that on a daily basis. But what we have to do is really do the, the grand rising and bring the whole world together to remove these lawyers and judges that are sitting in our spots and are pretending to be Moors. <laughs> Most people don't know law, Muslim law, or the Pharaoh's law, so what we have to do is really uh, come together and stop the lawyers from being uh, tyrants that they are. They're all British, and we have to stop them from pretending to be the Moors. So every time you attend these courts, and you think it's a court, it's not a court, it's a fraud. Excuse me, sir, but what in the doohickey are you talking about? You are talking a bunch of nothing. So all lawyers are British? You got to be freaking kidding me. And why would anybody want to pretend to be a Moor? Have you seen the videos on YouTube? Like, nobody would pretend to be a Moor. That would be absolutely ridiculous. The whole system is a fraud from the president on down. We have to take everything back. So, you know, Obama is a dirty Moor, see? Obama signed that treaty, the Moorish American Peace Treaty of, uh, of 1787. Excuse me, sir, but I hate to interrupt you, but how in the doohickey could have Barack Obama sign the Moroccan Peace Treaty of 1786 when Barack Obama wasn't even born yet? Like, what in the doohickey are you talking about? And what in the doohickey are you smoking on? You, my friend, are lost. And then when he signed it, only Moors could be in the White House. Only Moors can live here on this land. Only indigenous people, which are the Pharaoh's children, can live here. And so uh, they hid the treaty from us and they... It shows that, that we own everything, the land, the seas, and the skies above. Wow, the land of make-believe. And um, so I'm working hard, just like everybody else, all the Moors working hard at um, trying to put ourselves back into the original positions of, our, of the landowners. You know, we own over, uh, over a million miles square. You are delusional. You have a serious issue. And uh, the whole White House, the United States, and everything belongs to the Moors. And the Europeans sitting up there like, oh, yeah, this is our, our, our ink pen. But, you know, it's the Pharaoh's ink pen. You know, the Pharaoh's ink pen of Islam, I should say. Excuse me, sir, but what in the doohickey are you talking about? The Pharaoh's did not practice Islam. Islam wasn't even created yet when the pharaohs were alive. So how could it be the pharaoh's ink pen of Islam? Like, where do you get your information from? Please cite some sources. But I know you can't. You're just literally sitting up there making things up. And you sound absolutely ridiculous. You need to just stop. Morris Science has your brains all messed up. 
because many people don't really know what I'm doing and how I how I know what I know. But um, it's my bloodline that takes me into what I know. Just like you, you know you can inter understand everything I'm talking about, but you can't really know until you see for yourself. I got the understanding, the overstanding, and the understanding of everything that's going down on why we're losing. And it's the lawyers and judges. We have to get rid of them. We have to cut their heads off. And they y'all know who I am. You know, I am, I'm not playing. They framed me, sent me to prison for 10 years for nothing. And then they, they want to cover it up. But I'm, I'm, I'm a specialist in Muslim law and their law. So it's all about them. So, Long. them out. Uh, the Islam. Islam. So the brother is finna get ready to time travel and so am I uh, back to where I'm going to so I can get home to my children and my wife. And um, we just wanted to like reunite every time I come to the coast. As long as the brother got breath and health and he can get around, I come visit him because that's what real Moors do when you're in certain territories with your people. And whoever I couldn't visit, it's just because I, I don't communicate with you regularly. Your number ain't in my call log. So maybe... If you try to put it in there, you know, then we could communicate. But uh, shout out to District of Morbites Parliament. They're still an official thing on the roster. Shout out to my new company, Ash Group, um, and, and organization that I started to help homeless families, indigenous families, and um, people who live in the United States Corporation. So we have to fix this situation if we want it repaired. Or we could just keep complaining like we've been doing the last 500 years. Actions speak louder than the words. That's why the creator said, faith without works is dead. So if you don't do nothing to change your situation, don't expect to change. Islam, y'all have a wonderful weekend, a wonderful week, and um, just enjoy your day. Peace Islam, and love. peace and love. Peace and love to you and Islam as well. Hey, let's have a